Lagos, the center of Nigeria's commercial economy, is choking on its extraordinary and rapid growth. The United Nations has predicted that Lagos will be the third largest city in the world by 2015, with 25 million people. But overcrowding has been the salient feature of life in Lagos since the 1950s. Insufficient infrastructure and neglect has led to poor management of the growing population, resulting in notorious traffic and remarkable waste and pollution. Babatunde Fashola, governor of Lagos State, has undertaken significant efforts to make Lagos not just a megacity, but also to give it world city status. He has concentrated on environmental issues, including a campaign that aims to plant one million trees in three years, and to clean up the filth that has characterized the city for decades. Of particular note is the government-led waste to gas project that aims to transform dump sites into exploitable resources, at the same time creating jobs, reducing urban poverty, and improving environmental health. Improving transportation in the city is also a goal. The creation of a bus rapid transport system that is estimated to transport about 10,000 passengers in each direction per hour during peak travel times aims to reduce the number of commuters and ease traffic congestion. Referred to as go slows, the notorious traffic jams in Lagos are also the site of many informal marketplaces. The city has a sizable informal sector, due in large part to the great influx of unemployed migrants. The overpopulation of Lagos is the fundamental issue from which the majority of other urban issues stem. In studying the metabolism of Lagos, one can begin literally by studying the flow of traffic. The huge population influx is another flow that leads to issues of housing, unemployment, and income inequality. Spatial inequality is apparent in the presence of a large informal sector, which thrives without government supervision. As Lagos seeks to become a megacity, attention must be paid to making the circulation of the city run more smoothly. Current efforts undertaken by Governor Fashola clearly demonstrate biophilia as they attempt to restore and creatively insert nature into developing Lagos. A focus on this biophilia will in turn lead to improved sustainability. It is hoped also that such a motivation will result in the improved circulation of Lagos and therefore a better quality of life for the inhabitants of the city.